G'day Internet, Max Wright here, and um, a couple of a couple of clutch tweets here from Peter Schiff, who I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to point out to them about a few of the things going on right now. So today we had a much larger than expected uh, inflation. I think it was producer inflation is what it was specifically. Actually, here it was producer prices surged by 0.8 percent, and so. Point of, uh, Peter points out that traders again reacted to worse than inspected inflation data by selling gold. And we know Peter Schiff's not a Bitcoin bug, but you can put Bitcoin in here as well. So both Bitcoin and gold got hurt by inflation. This is, makes absolutely no sense because the purpose of both of these things is to protect us against inflation. But traders react negatively to inflation news. He, he, he states the reasons why. The worse inflation gets, the more aggressive traders expect the Fed to get to fight it. Meaning um, that the Fed already has let inflation get this bad proves that it won't do anything to stop it from getting worse. I, I, just, I couldn't agree with him more. Um, the re yeah, there's, oh, it's bad inflation. What's going to happen is that the, the Fed's going to put up interest rates and do all these things that they should do, which we, would be prudent monetary policy. They are not going to do any of those things. I can absolutely assure you, they're not. None of those things are going to happen. And so he, he's absolutely right in explaining why gold and Bitcoin gets hit on expectation. But the smart money is going, uh huh. We are going into bigger and higher inflation, and they're actually accumulating gold and silver, etc., taking advantage of the of the discount. And then this one. So every single time. Without exception, it's never failed. It's as predictable as you can possibly imagine anything to be. Is that when bureaucrats screw up the money and destroy the, the, the wealth of the country and absolutely destroy the savings and the currency, without exception, they blame um, the rising prices on greedy business owners for raising prices. Never, ever, ever is it their fault for printing the money into oblivion, spending with wanton abandon on all these programs and things that force the Fed to print money to pay for uh, Congress's overspending. And here she is. Senator Warren blames inflation on greedy businesses gouging their customers. Oh my God. In reality, businesses are letting their customers gouge them by not raising their prices enough. Uh... Again, the cause of inflation is one source and one source only. It is the printing of the money at the Fed. And the reason they do it is two reasons. One is to rescue a market which they have interfered with so much that it is an effectively a crippled market and cannot survive. So they have that to, con to, to contend with. Sometimes they print money to help keep the system afloat because the system that they have created is so fragile it can't survive without it. That's one. Two, the other reason they do it is to fund a reckless Congress's spending habits, right? They, they create these bills, they spend all this money, all these programs, they buy themselves another election, destroying the economy, destroying everybody. And then these Muppets themselves come out and blame business owners for the results of their actions and the incompetence that they've displayed. Senator Warren, just, I mean, no surprise. What an absolute wretch of a human causing so much misery and poverty and suffering and then pointing the finger at other people. Just incredible. All right, guys. If you like the comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know if I've missed the mark or missed something. I'll speak to you soon.